Hi, I'm Fernando Ferreira from UFMG, and today we shall see typing rules. These rules assign types to expressions in the programming language. Thus, to use these rules, we need a programming language. We shall be using our language of booleans and arithmetic expressions. Here you can see its operational semantics, as we had seen in the, in the last class. Types are very important because they help us to prevent stuck terms. In the last class, we had talked about uh, what's a stuck term. They are terms that are synthetically valid. However, they are neither values nor they can take steps. With types, we get something almost magical. We can check the program before it starts executing, and we might know if the program does not contain stuck terms. In other words, if a program type checks, then the program does not have stuck terms. Of course, it's quite undecidable to know if the program will run into a stuck term during execution, and type systems do not solve an undecidable problem, obviously. They are conservative, so they might rule out programs that evaluate to a value, like this one here, if true then zero else false. This program is zero, however, it will not pass type verification. And here they are, the typing rules. We have typing rules for every construction in our language. When we write t colon big T, then we mean that T has type big T. For instance, zero colon net means that the value zero has type net. And that means that we can know the type of a value without having to evaluate the program. And we say that a term T is typable if there exists a type big T such that T has type big T. Let's look into one of these rules. Here you have the rule T if. It says that the term if T1 then T2 else T3 has type big T when T1 has type bool, T2 has type big T and T3 has type big T. That's why a term like if true then zero else false will not type check. The typing rule requires the two parts of the conditional having the same type, which here is called big T, but in this case zero has type net and false has type bool, so two different types. From our rules, there are a few facts that are easy to prove. For instance, if the term true has a type, this type must be bool. Likewise, if suck T1 has a type, then this type must be net, and the type of T1 must be net as well. We can prove this lemma by simply inspecting the typing rules. The typing rules let us derive the type of each expression in a program. For instance, that's the type of if is 0, 0, then 0, else spread 0. I mean, what's the type of this expression? Would you like to stop the video and think about it? To know the type of this term, we can apply the typing rules. That gives us a derivation tree. Here you can see this derivation tree. The if then else gives us its root, and from the root we can have three branches that come from the three premises of the, of the rule. And with this class, we are done with the definition of typing rules. In the next class, we start looking into properties of type systems. Thank you.